Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul but I'll remember our top fondly. Y'all I am so excited for today's video because I get to play with all the new makeup that I have been procuring for a little bit now. So obviously I am an idiot and this is the completed look um, and let me tell you there are some gems okay gems up in this bitch and I'm so happy to get to talk through them because there are some points where I really mess up hard <laughs> but I bounce back and that's pretty great so in today's video we're gonna be talking about some stuff from Isamaya, Melt Cosmetics, Huda Beauty, NARS, Pat McGrath, Danessa Myricks, and Jones Road. I feel like I probably forgot one of them but uh, whatever it doesn't matter anyway <laughs> Let me show you how I transformed myself. And trust me when I say that this video is mostly unhinged. I go on a lot of weird tantrums. Enjoy. You know when today is just not your day, that's what it feels like and I just woke up. How does that make sense? <laughs> make sense I have tried filming the intro like six times already and I'm just like I'm over it at this point so we're just gonna kind of proceed and I'm gonna do everything backwards like I normally do so I probably should have just started that way and I could have got 15 minutes of my life back um <laughs> you're gonna hear a lot of beeping because even though it's not even seven o'clock in the morning here they're doing construction and I get it it's because it's hot Ugh. still it's it's fucking annoying. I hate it and I want to fucking scream. But instead we're just gonna hear the same backing up sound even though I don't see a truck which freaks me the fuck out. I'm starting to think that it's a ghost truck, okay? <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna just uh, play with some makeup because I have to go to work and I need to do... Actually, do I have any meetings today? Hold on, let's see. Can I get really fucking wild with my makeup today? Ah, oh, Okay, I have a meeting. <laughs> I've been meeting at 9.30. Oh, I hate that 9.30 meeting by the way. It's the most awkward meeting that I have to fucking attend where we just kind of all as a team sit there and stare at each other and just say like well like how was your weekend and they're like how was your weekend like I don't care we already have a meeting on Friday where we discuss what we're gonna do on the fucking weekend and then Tuesday we play recap and it's insufferable <laughs> it's fucking insufferable I, I just I don't care all right we're gonna start with the primer <laughs> We're gonna start a primer this morning. I am in rare form. And normally I would be like, yeah, let me, let me not put this in there. I don't care today. We'll call this get ready with me begrudgingly for a 9.30 meeting. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna use this from Isamaya. I figured I was gonna pick up the spooky titty palette courtesy of my friend Sean who convinced me. And I figured, you know, I need something else. I need to try something else from Isamaya because I haven't really, you know, liked a lot of things. And so what I decided to pick was the thing that has a cock ring. <laughs> The little cock ring doodad. This is the skin skin co skin look skin lack skin lack whatever. It's a triple hyaluronic glow serum. Basically, it's a glow serum that has a cock ring in it. I like it. I'm cool with that. So we're. <laughs> I'm a little scared because normally this is where I would. Oh, she is. She is. Th oh, she is gooey. Oh, this is goo. Okay, this is this. This doesn't look. Okay. Normally, this is where I would come in and put my ritual <laughs> defeat, but I figured no, we're gonna we're gonna do is Amaya today, and you know what? Maybe this is gonna be amazing. And so far, I mean, it's kind of gross looking, kind of semeny, but you know what? If semen did this to my face, no. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Good. Very glowy very glowy although I'm not gonna lie oh okay you know what's unsettling it's like when you do this and then it gets really stringy it's too realistic okay it's too realistic oh I don't like this but we're gonna put a little bit just a little bit more on my face I feel really dry today drier than your aunt's meatloaf and I need to be well saturated and I feel like now I feel good so this is kind of like one and a half little pumps of product. It doesn't feel sticky, which is great. It's definitely making the skin very, very, very hydrated. Although I will say it's not as hydrating as my thorn oil. I don't know, I kind of still feel a little dryness, but not really. But maybe I'm just getting all up in my head. So anyway, I'm going to shut up and stop touching my face. But anyway, this is what she looks like. Not bad, not bad. I think the best part for me is the cock ring. I could play with that for hours. Okay. <laughs> ah, moving on. I should probably put this color corrector down first. And then I should probably put the foundation on top of it, right? That makes sense. 
Smart thinking, Teresa. I have this thing from Huda Beauty. I don't think this is gonna work. I think this is way too dark for me. This is the Faux Filter Corrector. I have it in the shade Pink Pomelo. I mean, when I did the swatch, I looked like I had a, a fucking chemical burn tan, okay? So I'm just gonna put it... <laughs> I'm just gonna put it right there. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, this looks gnarly. I'm just gonna put it uh, just right where my, I have like really bad under eye circles today. Not today, every fucking day of my life uh, because I don't know how to get a full night's sleep because I only know how to sleep for like maybe five, six hours at a time. So we're just gonna lay that down. And you know what? You know what, I was shitting on this because I was kind of scared and maybe, maybe this looks a little fucked up, but maybe not though. I mean, I definitely, it, you know, maybe it's not that bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna, again, just put it right in my under eye area. Okay, you know, I mean, it definitely took away like the gross purpleness of it. You could definitely tell that there's something on my face here, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought like, oh no, this is going to be fucking terrible, but it's actually pretty fucking good. So now I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Let me just break out my fan that I got from Amazon on Prime Day. Does this really do anything? No, I think it barely moves my hair. That's like, it just looks cute. It's loud. <laughs> but I didn't have to pay $35 for it, so that makes me happy. All right, so now that we have that baked in to perfection, we are gonna go in with this yummy skin, which I can't wait, because I feel like this is gonna look really funny. This area looks really, really dark on my skin, but we're just gonna take one little dot. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna massage it in with my hands first. I'm gonna use a sponge to press that in. I mean, you know, I was talking some shit about the Huda, but like, it looks pretty good, right? <laughs> I love how I need that like validation. Like, no, really, it does, huh? I like the yummy skin. It's nice. I'm gonna be going away in August and this feels really lightweight and like super comfortable. We're going to a convention for two days and I am not bringing a lot of makeup with me. Pretty much just going to bring stuff that will cover my redness and that's pretty much it. No baby drag queen looks for me because one, I know what I'm gonna look like after being with thousands of people in a room. The results are just not gonna be good. So now that I got that all situated, you know, I can't tell, does it look, does it, right here, right? Okay. <laughs> you know what's so funny? <laughs> okay, you know, at first I was like, no, 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 you know what? It's like blending in really good with the color corrector, but not, I mean, kinda not really. I look like I have, <laughs> I look like I have reverse sunburn. Instead of having protection where my glasses are and like everything else be tan, it's like my eyes are tan and the rest of my face is pale. And um, you know, that's priceless. That's priceless, honestly. And I think more people should go out like this. <laughs> I kind of look sick a little bit. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so I'm just gonna, just gonna tosh a little, a little over here, a little over here. We're gonna throw some uh, concealer where the under eye corrector is. But in the meantime, let's see if this does it better. I think that one looks a little bit better. I'm not mad at this. Like, I really like the Danessa Myricks. If all goes well, this will definitely be a product that I bring with me because it's just, it's just nice. It has really good coverage and I didn't throw on any other corrector on my face. It looks pretty good. It's sitting on my nose nice. It's not powdery, it's not drying. This is great. This is fucking good. So <laughs> what I want to do now is I want to, I think I need to take this actually. This is from NARS. This is the under eye brightener. The, la the lie reflective. The light reflective eye brightener. So this is a night swan. We're going to take this and I'm going to just apply it here. Oh, this looks yellow. Oh, I don't know if that was a good idea. We're gonna take a little bit of this and I'm just gonna pat it out. I don't know why lately I've just been obsessed with using my fingers, but I love fingering myself. Okay, okay. Is it a brightener? I don't know. Is it my skin color? Yes. <laughs> but I think over the Huda though, it's, it's really nice. I like this. I like this a lot. Better than I expected, because I thought a lot of this was going to be bullshit. <laughs> But this is looking pretty good though. Like I look normal. 
I look normal. I love that. So the next thing I want to do is kind of stick with uh, cream products because we have nothing but pretty much fucking cream products. So we're going to use the Jones Road Bronzer. I have used this product a while now, but I don't have any other liquid bronzers that I want to fuck with. This is fantastic. It's really, really good. Super, super lightweight and very, very easy to apply. So I'm just going to Kind of just dot it over here. Um, I will say though that while I do like this product a lot, I don't think it's as good as their powder bronzer. I think this is a really nice product, but there's something about that powder bronzer. It's like chef's kiss. It's so good. But this though, on days where I'm literally just doing like a lighter coverage, this is perfect. I wore this a lot when I was in New York and this mix with the Summer Fridays skin tan is so good. I have it in the shade light because obviously my skin looks like a ghost child. Oh, so has anybody uh, gone spooky shopping? I haven't, well, kind of. I need to go around to more stores, but it's currently like all back to school shit right now. So there hardly hasn't been anything like fun. Although I will say the back to school shit now, so much better than the back to school shit I had as a child. Holy shit, amount of variety? Like what the fuck? Like this is so cool. I hit that age where I'm like, wow, stationery is so pretty. <laughs> But it's so cool though, some of the shit that they have. I remembered it was like, no, it was a fucking marbled composition notebook. That was it. It's all you got, bitch. And if you're lucky, maybe you got a trapper keeper. I didn't. I still fucking wish I had one. I did have a canvas three ring binder, but it wasn't cool as a trapper keeper. Trapper keeper, you could put your shit in it. I'm still salty about that, clearly. <laughs> Should tell my mom this year for Christmas. Get me a trapper keeper. Get me the things that you neglected to give me as a child. She'd probably be like, really? Okay. All right, weirdo. I'm gonna put a little on my nose, cause why not? Give me that vacation glow. And then of course put it around my non-existent jaw. <laughs> Gonna give that double chin some definition. So the next product we're going to use is the blush. And I have that from Pat McGrath. This is, nope, that's the highlighter. This is the blush. This is something that came out fairly recently. This is the Divine Blush, the Legendary Glow Color Bomb. I have it in the shade Divine Rose because you kind of have to have everything in Divine Rose. Now I wanna say I could probably apply this. Yep, we're gonna apply this with a stick and then we're going to blend it out with our little fingies. But it is, it is very, very, very pigmented. Very pretty. Okay. Okay, I ain't mad at it. Okay, definitely with the sponge kind of goes away a little bit. So I need to be mindful of that. So I'm just gonna just apply a little more. This ain't bad. It's not, um, it's not greasy, which is good. I hate when bombs are like super greasy and they kind of feel really gross when you're blending it out, but this feels nice. So yeah, back to my 9.30 meeting. We have these meetings every week and it's just, we decided not to do them on Mondays because you know, Mondays, everybody is a see you next Tuesday. Tuesday seemed like the best day, but sometimes it's just so like, it's just so cringe. <laughs> because we're all just kind of staring at each other and we don't really know what to say in this remote environment. You know, it's definitely different from being in the office, you know? You're kind of just all staring at each other. Some people have reception. Some people talk too much. Some people don't talk at all or not enough. It's just, it's a very, it's very weird. And then you're always constantly cutting people off and it's just like, no, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, no, no go ahead. It's the bane of my existence. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Because there's usually one person that will commandeer the conversation and you're just like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. They never have anything like truly like super interesting. <laughs> super interesting to talk about. So you're just kind of like, oh, okay. You're gonna be making a corn salad this, okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> like we're just talking 40 minutes about someone making a fucking corn salad. Like, I don't care, I don't care. Or they'll talk at great lengths about how I think they secretly hate their children, but they just don't wanna say it. And then that just makes it awkward for everybody. I don't know. <laughs> She's like, okay, okay, okay. Like I said, it's, it's a, Tuesday's a very weird meeting. Friday is a little bit more low key. People are just definitely more relaxed, but then we spend like, you know, fucking hour talking about like, what are you gonna be doing on the weekend? Corn salad, that sounds great. But actually, you know, it's funny on Tuesday, I don't wanna hear shit about it, but on Friday, I'm excited about it. Tuesday, I could care less about your corn salad. <sighs> anyway, I really like the 
I really like this blush. I think it's very pretty. I think it's really, really nice. The formula is not too much, but I will say that I feel like I'm kind of over blending. I don't know, maybe I'm over blending. I'm trying not to, but I feel like sometimes you can kind of blend it into nothing, which is kind of annoying. So I think that looks good. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to move on to the highlighter, which I love Pat McGrath. They're some of my favorite formulas. So I am hopeful. Oh yeah. Ooh, that looks good. I'm hopeful that this is going to be good. And you know what? It is. It is glittery though. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you are someone that doesn't like little micro glitters, you might be like, Ooh, this is not for me. It ain't bad though. On this corn salad Tuesday, this is going to be the thing that gets me through it. <laughs> a little bit of sparkle on a Tuesday, never hurt anybody. Looking good, looking good. I do want to take a little bit though of that blush because I feel like it kind of took up a little bit of product. While the blush didn't do that, definitely the highlighter feels a little bit stiffer in terms of like application to the face. So I'm kind of noticing that it looked like it moved some of the foundation, but maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. That looks good. But what I want to do now is I want to take that other side though, that clear bomb side. You know what? Let's see something. Does that do anything? Does that, does that do anything? I don't think it does shit. No, it doesn't really do anything. Okay. Well, that's kind of annoying. I don't feel like it really added anything that bomb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more of that highlighter, but I'm just going to do it with a finger application instead, which I like that more. I'm going to do it this way. I'm not fucking up the foundation underneath, which is nice. Okay. She's pretty cute. I think that's all the cream products I have uh, for today. So now we are going to set it, which I'm terrified, but it's going to be fun. Actually, let's hold on. Let's kind of dry this down first. So the next thing that I want to do is set the face and this is the Melt Makeup Fair Glaze Skin Sheer Finishing Powder. And does it have, a, I was hoping it would have like a little poof or something, uh, but packaging wise it's pretty cute. Powder wise, okay powder wise doesn't seem that bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a big kind of fluffy brush and I'm just going to gently stamp. Oh I hate this, okay. <laughs> It's thick. Ew. Okay. So this is supposed to be glazed. What the fuck? Soft focus, blur lines, imperfections provides natural, transparent, glow, lightweight, blendable coverage. Mineral clay balances oil. Okay. I mean, definitely it could be uh, not jiving with any of the products that I have underneath, but on my chin though, it looks powdery. It doesn't look nice. I'm going to use this brush that I got from Beautylish. This is from the Year of the Ox. Maybe I needed a little bit more of like a wispy kind of a brush. Okay, maybe that brush that I had wasn't doing it justice. Okay, you know what? Not so bad, not so bad. I definitely feel like the coverage on this uh, definitely took away any of the, br <laughs> the bronzer or the blush that I had on my face. I do see the highlighter, which is fine. Definitely took that away. Uh, <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do now is um, just, uh, all right, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. Yeah, I don't think I like this very much. All right, I'm kind of going back and forth because I, I like how it's sitting on my nose. I think it's very pretty. It doesn't look dry. However, down here though, looks really, really dry, which is unusual because this area is not a known dry spot at all. So I don't understand why it looks so gummy down here. That doesn't make any sense. It's like almost to the point where if I just keep doing this, I'm like taking away some of the powder weird. Okay. I think it looks a little bit better now. I'm starting to think it's the brush more. The rest of my face looks really, really nice. It doesn't look too drying, but there's just some areas that just look, it's like clinging to certain spots. So it has to be that brush. But when I start to kind of like <laughs> just do this a little bit, it starts to disperse the product. Okay. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think I just need to keep playing with it and never use that brush because this looks a lot better. Yeah, it was weird. It was like some areas it would just kind of glob into. I was like, what the fuck is going on? This is nice though. This ain't bad. But it ain't my CoverGirl powder though. That's for damn sure. All right. So now that I have this, I kind of, I need to throw on a little bit of bronzer, just something. Let me just throw on a little bit of bronzer. Hold on. So I'm just going to throw on a little bit more highlighter because you know me. Uh, but I mean, it looks so pretty good, but I just, I want to be a little extra, obviously. The thing that I love so much and you cannot find it anymore is this Dior Backstage Powder in Rose Gold. 
old. If you have this, this is, uh, don't ever declutter it. It's such a fucking treasure. Oh, it's so good. So the one place that I didn't put that powder was my under eyes. So I'm actually going to take a small brush and I'm going to gently set my under eye area. But what I will say though, from the color corrector and the eye brightener, it's not cracking or fading into my fine line. So that is actually fantastic. If we use it as a setting. I think I went a little too close to the sun. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. That wasn't a good idea. Now I just kind of fucking globbed all of that powder in one area. That was not a good idea. All right, I don't think I did a good job <laughs> using this powder in the under eye area. I, it was definitely my fault. I think what, as soon as I laid it down, I put too much product and it just globbed on. Really looked chunky and flaky. But I think doing this method uh, blending it out with a brush doesn't look as bad um but I, yeah i think i would probably change my approach next time perhaps go in with a little powder puff and gently kind of press it in i think i had a little bit too much product but i will say that at least it doesn't look that bad it looks a little bit better better than i anticipated <laughs> i thought there was just gonna be like a huge like white line um right there but not so bad so we're just gonna Buff that out, buff that out, buff that out, buff that out. So I'm gonna add a little setting spray. That was way too close, Teresa. <laughs> oh God, what did I do to you today? I really like how my skin looks. It looks so fucking good. It looks good. I mean, I look like a fucking snook. Okay. <laughs> so, <sighs> Let's move on to the eyeshadow. Now, this palette is literally all shimmers. It's just, it's all shimmers. So I need to put down a little bit of something, something. I need to put a little base down. Ooh, what do I wanna do? I don't even, oh, I don't even know what I wanna do. I don't know. We're gonna throw caution to the wind today, but first thing I wanna do is just use some matte shadows just to kind of lay those down because we're really gonna let the Isamaya do its thing on the lid, but uh, anyway. Oh, you know what I wanted to ask y'all? Have you been on TikTok? <laughs> Have you ever seen this trend where it's someone that is uh, role playing as like AI or like an NPC character and they're just doing this and they're just repeating the same thing over and over again? I discovered it yesterday and it, I know you're probably saying like, I've seen this forever. Yeah, I obviously live under a fucking rock. Um, <laughs> I was terrified. <laughs> It's so scary um, how <laughs> can't they move? And they're just repeating the same things and then people donate lots of money, like thousands of dollars to them. And I mean, good for them, like fucking get your coin, like fucking amazing. But like, I side eye the people that give them money though. I'm like, what, are you okay? I don't, okay? But I mean, whatever, you can do whatever you want with your money, right? So who am I to judge? I shouldn't judge anybody. But it was just so strange. <laughs> Strange. Just watching people just do this and then repeating things like, ooh, a rose. Thank you. It creeps me the fuck out. Anyway, fell down a weird rabbit hole and now my algorithm is fucked up because now all I'm getting is just people doing this AI character and they're saying the same thing and they all kind of look the same. It's freaking me out. It's, <laughs> it's freaking me the fuck out. I hate it. All right. So in terms of mattes, we're just going to go into this Huda Beauty matte palette. Uh, I picked it up a while ago and I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> Uh, so we're just gonna play with this one today. And I think I'm just going to put this one kind of all over the lid. We'll use this as the base today. So that's pretty much it. Discovered that. Oh, um, two times in one week, my power went out for hours at a time. And that is awful. So kind of scared for this hurricane season. I was very, very fortunate where we didn't lose power, but we did lose internet. But my best friend lost power for like fucking three days. And I think by the end of it, he wasn't even human anymore. It was, it was scary. <laughs> so I'm just like, I don't want this day up into me. I have no idea what is causing all of these fucking power outages with the exception of that they are doing a lot of construction across the street, but that's everywhere in Florida. They keep making these goddamn vacation homes. So maybe that's what's tripping to power. I have no idea, but in any case, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter shade down here and we're gonna throw that kind of above the crease and blend that out. And I'm gonna take one of these uh, pink shades, which it looks like there are two pink shades. They kind of look exactly the same. And we're just gonna just use that in the top over there just to blend it out a little bit more. Make it look a little bit more seamless. 
Honestly, I really don't give a shit about the mattes so much because I just want that shimmer to shine. Puna mattes though, if you were interested in wanting to get this palette, it's pretty good. Pretty fucking good so far. I got no complaints. I got no complaints. Okay, so now that I have that all over, I think we're gonna just, just take one of these little babies. And there's so many good ones in here, but I want to probably, there's something about this one that I feel like, it's the quintessential duochrome that like red into blue, that's so pretty. And I think this is the one that we're going to use today. So I'm going to take a little bit of NYX glitter glue because I have no faith in this product. So I just wanna grab a nice little brush over here. Grab some NYX glitter glue. All right, so we're just gonna paint the whole lid. Basically just kind of want like a wispy, I fucked a fairy moment. And I feel like we're gonna be able to, whoa, whoa, okay. I thought that I was gonna be sitting here with my dick in my hand. <laughs> my makeup dick that is, and really just trying to build this product up, but bitch is fucking pigmented. Okay. Oh, she is, oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I love this, I love this, I love this. And you know what's great? There's barely, barely any fallout. Just a little bit that I'm going to gingerly brush away. Fuck, this is really, really nice. Okay, okay, bitch, all right, Amaya. Now, the question is like, hey, do you really need a palette that was this expensive? Yeah, it's on you. You are the only one that knows what is right in your finances. <laughs> But if you are looking for something a little bit fucking moody and just industrial, where you should be dancing in like a burnt out warehouse somewhere, then maybe Ismaya is for you. I love how this looks. Uh, you know, I, I'm like regretting my decision a little bit because now, oh, I should have put this all over the fucking lid. I have to come back and put this palette again. Some of the shifts are so fucking cool looking that I am now regretting my decision doing this. And even though I think this is so beautiful, I'm like, fuck, why didn't I do this instead? And now I'm mad at myself. <laughs> um, I think what I wanna do though is I wanna, oh, whoa, okay. So there's this shade down here that is like nice, like white silver. And I just like pop that on top of that and just really, wow, okay. Like made it very, very bright. You know, Sean, I, I was like, I don't know about this palette. I'm just gonna listen to you forever. Forever, forever, forever. This is fucking everything. I love this. And I really like how kind of wispy. It's messy, but it's like elegant in a weird way. This is cute. I like this. So what I want to do now is I'm going to try to go into this shade. It's the darkest shade in the palette. Kind of a shimmer. It's like a satiny shimmer. I want to see if maybe I could use this to line my eyes. It could be a huge fucking mistake, but we're going to try it anyway. But this is what I wanted from like Byredo. And I did not get that from Byredo. As a liner, it's... Not the best, not the best. It's giving me a little something something, but I, I think going on dry, it's not amazing. But it's also not meant to do what I'm doing, so the fact that it's even doing anything, it's pretty fucking good. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of this Natasha Denona eyeliner. It's in the shade Camu Camu. And now I'm gonna put a little something in the lower lash line, throw some mascara, I'm gonna come back and do the lip. So before I do lip, I do wanna throw a little something in the inner corner because <laughs> why the fuck not? I don't know, there's so many good, oh, there's so many good shades. I am so regretting my fucking decision uh, <laughs> with this one because there's so many things I wanna play with. But I'm gonna have to keep using this because this palette is like fucking, this is really cool. Okay, okay, all right, you're exceeding my expectations. I'm just gonna go back in with that super sparkly one that I also popped in my lid. Oh, that's, that's just pretty, that's just pretty. I love this fucking thing, who would have thought? Sean, thank you. <laughs> okay, so in terms of lip products, I want to use this, cause uh, this is so good. Ritual Defeat released their Thorn Bite Peptide Plump Cream Lip Oil. I tried their first lip oils, eh, it was all right. These are fucking fantastic. I don't know what kind of magic's in here, but these are just so fucking good. And they have a really good lasting power, which is really nice. So this is in the shade Rose Cream. No, Rose Crush, I'm sorry, Rose Crush. And I think this is just gonna be the thing that just brings the look together. This is so good, it's so good. It doesn't taste like anything. It's just so, I mean, I, I have no fucking sense of smell. Why am I even trying? <laughs> 
nothing today, kids. It feels so luxurious and creamy on the lips and it doesn't run into the outer corners. This is everything that I love in a lip oil. And like I said, it has really good lasting power. There are a lot of colors that have come out, but the one that I keep kind of gravitating towards is the Rose Crush because I mean, this is like the perfect basic bitch color. And I think it really just ties in together this fun little look that I created. So this is the completed look. Not gonna lie, kinda really pissed off that now I have to waste this on my colleagues when I should be wasting this in public. <laughs> I should be going to brunch right now. I should be doing some Real Housewives shopping, meaning I should be dropping $40,000 on a fucking purse. That's what I should be doing. Not listening to Angela talk about her shitty corn salad for the sixth time, but I digress. I am pleasantly surprised. So let's talk a little bit about each product kind of quickly because I have run out of time. Okay, so starting with Isamaya the primer, little cock ring primer, this is good. This is really good, I really like it. I like how the products kind of mesh with everything. Obviously the true test is gonna be pairing it with some of my favorite foundations, but this could be a nice contender to the thorn oil. Although I will say with the thorn oil, I definitely feel more hydrated. This, I feel like I needed a little bit extra product to kind of feel the hydration a little bit more in my skin. Granted, it was a very, very dry day, so that could be it too. But will it ever beat out my thorn oil? I don't think so because I have such an allegiance to that product, but I think this comes really, really close. This is kind of similar to the Natasha Denona Hydrin product a little bit, except this is definitely more cummier. Uh, but I like it though. I think it definitely gives me that robot sex sheen and I'm into it. So I can't wait to continue to play with this one. Moving on to the, <laughs> this guy, the Huda Beauty, the color corrector. I was a little scared. I think it worked out really, really beautifully. And I didn't even use any concealer. It was just this and the eye brightener. And I think the combination of the two is really nice. It took away my dark circles. It worked very, very well with the other products and nothing is settling in my fine lines. Even though I dumped a shitload of powder in that area, it still looks pretty fucking good. Good. So I can't wait to continue to use this. And the same goes for the little um, the little light reflective eye brightener. I think a combination of these two is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now I have this one in the shade Night Swan and it is pretty much my skin tone. <laughs> So if you are uh, uncooked chicken and if you're looking for a concealer, this is actually pretty good. What I liked about this product more than concealer is that it didn't settle into my fine lines. And this goes for even some of my tried and true, like my Koki concealer. I still have to set my under eye area. I think the only product I really don't have to set my under eye area with is pretty much the Jones Road pencil. That is fantastic. Cause it's not too wet, it's not too dry, it's right in the middle, it's comfortable, it doesn't settle into the lines, it's perfect. It doesn't need anything to be set down, it just can exist and I love that. This is kind of similar to that. I didn't feel like I needed to rush and put powder under my eye. I will say though, when putting powder on top of it, you know, it definitely, the brush I use, I was my fuck up. I, <laughs> I definitely got it like gummy in certain areas, but I was able to blend it out to make it look a little bit more seamless. And I'm happy that I was able to do that. But yeah, I could kind of get away with not setting this. So this is something that I'm probably gonna bring with me to New York, honestly. I like the combination of it. It makes my skin look really nice, healthy and dewy and my under eye area doesn't look dry. It looks hydrated. I like it. So very, very happy about that. And then moving on to the foundation, the serum skin tint. This is so good. I'm so happy that I picked this up because when it comes to the actual foundation, that was a very just challenging product. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't look good. A lot of hand holding when it comes to that. And honestly, I'm at that age where I just don't want to do that anymore. I want to stick with products that are just going to work immediately. I don't have time. I really... <laughs> I don't want to convince myself something is good when I know it's not. And that product is just okay. And for the price and for what it is, it's like, I don't even want to fucking bother. This though, this is fantastic. This just melts into the skin so beautifully. You can do it with your hand, go over it with a little sponge, bam, your skin looks so fucking good. The coverage is really great. It has like a nice high medium coverage. It doesn't feel drying. It didn't settle into any lines, any dry patches. My nose looked fucking great. Everything about this product exceeded my expectations. I love this. I wish I liked some of the other yummy skin products, uh, but that's fine. If this is the only thing that I will ever like from this line, so be it. This is fucking fantastic. I would happily repurchase this time and time again. And it's also a beautiful lightweight option. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. Now I just need to test it to see if this is going to last during the fucking heat, but I will report back on that one. But so far, this is fucking great. Jones Row Bronzer. Like I said, I've used this a while now. It's good. I really, really like it. It provides a nice amount of warmth to the face without it being like too 
orange, too gross. It blends very beautifully with other products, has great lasting power. This is fantastic. But I will say the powder bronzer is better in my opinion. When it comes to the Pat McGrath, I really like the blush. I really like the blush. I thought it was very, very pretty, but it was one of those products where, and I could put it down from the stick and then I could blend it out with my fingers. Like, okay, cool. As soon as I put the sponge on it, it kind of eats the product a little bit. So you kind of have to go back and forth a little bit just to build up opacity, but that is fine because sometimes like I love a blush heavy moment and sometimes I don't. So I kind of like that I can control the opacity. So I like that I can control the opacity. So I would be interested in picking up some more blushes. I just don't know if I would spend full price on them. I probably would wait for like a Sephora sale or something like that to kind of pick up more. But overall, like I like the formula. Um, It's good. I, I really like the formula. I don't think it's like the best cream blush product I've ever used, but I think it's solid, right? Uh, in terms of the highlighter, a little disappointed with this one, but not by much. It's kind of surprised that when applying it with the stick side, it was pulling up the products underneath. Normally I never had that issue with these type of highlighters from Pat McGrath. So that was kind of a little troubling. But then again, my house is also 50 degrees. Maybe this needed just a little warming up. So I want to continue to play with it to see that maybe today was just like a, a fluke because normally I don't experience that with this. I love the highlighter. I think it's really, really pretty. There is some micro glitter in, in the formula. So if you're someone that doesn't like that, rest assured, you're going to see some big kind of sparkles. Uh, but I have to say like, it is very, very pretty and it's not too much. It doesn't emphasize any texture, but you definitely see the little sparkles. When it came to the bomb side, I just, I don't know, like I didn't really see any sort of um, difference and perhaps I probably should have done it in reverse. Probably put the bomb down first and then the actual highlighter because the highlighter packs a lot of punch. Um, but yeah, it was kind of a little lackluster with that part of the product, but whatever. I think the order I used it, I think it's a me problem, not necessarily this problem. But yeah, not bad. Moving on to, what else do we have? Oh, the powder. This is interesting and I want to continue to play with it, but I really like how my skin looks. I think it's so pretty. I just think that I need to be mindful of the brush that I use. It wasn't until I use another brush where I was able to bring life back into my skin. I like the powder a lot though. It's not sitting on my nose weird. It's not clumping or pooling other than this area and this area, which was again, total me problem. Everywhere else looks really fucking good. There is some coverage on this guy. So if you do have some cream products, rest assured when you put this powder over it, it's going to erase a lot of it. Hence why I had to go back in with some powder products to kind of just give me a little something. Otherwise I would just look like a potato. <laughs> But other than that though, like this, this is actually pretty fucking good. I don't know if I would put it under my eyes. Again, I fucked that up because of the brush that I use and I used too much product. So it was kind of like clinging and sitting really, really weird. But now that I kind of have buffed it out and used some setting spray, my skin just looks supple and delicious. Like you just, you can literally just take a piece of me to eat me. I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised because Melt Cosmetics usually comes out with some fucking weird ones. This is actually pretty good. I know, I'm fucking surprised too. So I can't wait to continue to use this uh, in future videos, but so far so good. I definitely am getting that glaze look. I look like a fucking donut. I'm obsessed. Moving on to eyeshadow palettes. Uh, the Huda Beauty one. I don't even know where the fuck. Oh, here it is. The matte palette. This is fine. This is a good little matte palette. Uh, I will say though, if you are looking for something probably similar to this at a cheaper price point, Jason Wu in Target is really fantastic. Kind of has a similar vibe, but this one, the cool matte obsessions. This was good. I like it. I have no complaints about it. Granted, I only use a couple of colors, but still I think it's very, very pretty. The thing that really fucking surprised me though is this is a Maya palette. And again, I am trying my hardest not to rip this off my eyeballs because I want to play with so many other colors in here. I only use two shades and the two shades are just, oh, they're so good. They're so good. I have never had a shimmer where it is so, um, one, it doesn't get fucking everywhere like glitter bukkake style. Yes, there's a little bit of fallout, but the fallout is very, very easy to clean. But something sparkly like this usually is completely messy. So for example, like Lethal Cosmetics, their latest uh, multi-crumbs, they're so messy. They're very beautiful, the shine, kind of very similar to this, except they're just so powdery and just fucking messy. And I just hate that if I do my base first and then my eye makeup last, I am going to be cleaning glitter out of my asshole for weeks, you know? So I was a little scared that I was gonna have the same kind of result with this one, but I didn't though. This is really good. Honestly, it's exceeding my expectations. And it just looks so nice and just so glittery without it being too much. And even using the darker shade as a liner, granted, it's not what I thought it was gonna be. Like I was hoping to be a little bit more opaque, but then again, I didn't use any sort of glitter glue. That's what I used uh, with this palette. So maybe that's probably what it is, but it's definitely giving me like a smoky lash line, which I really like. And it's not taking away from how beautiful like the duochrome is. I like this. I think it brings the look together. This is so pretty. I can't wait to continue to use this. And 
you know what? I think I'm actually a fan now. I am a fan. Even just based off this one little fucking thing, you know when you know. You know what I mean? Like when you have that palette and the first time you play with it, you're like, it kind of just like takes your breath away. That's kind of how I feel like with this one. It exceeded my fucking expectations. I really thought it was going to be like Byredo, where Byredo, it just felt like I could get no pigment, no payoff, no nothing. It was just so fucking boring. For something that looks so haunted and spooky and fun, it was just such a boring formula. Like it did not nothing like it, it wasn't anything fantastic or fun about this this though this is fucking good i was a little scared at first because some of the swatches are kind of weak and you're like oh i don't know how this is gonna play out but no i listen fucking it, it is just everything it's fucking everything for like i think it's like 115 dollars. that is probably one of the most expensive companion palettes i will ever own so for me to pay 115 dollars again it has to have a really fucking unique and stellar color story so the color story really has to wow me for me to purchase this again but yeah i honestly i fucking i really i regret nothing and i can't wait to continue to use it and i'm gonna leave an updated review in the future i will i'm working on it it's, i have a lot of products that i've been playing around with and I just honestly am just so lazy. <laughs> I just don't feel like sitting here for three hours talking about every product, but I have a lot of thoughts about things and I'll definitely make sure to include this in a future video because if I can get this kind of feeling every fucking time, I am happy. I'm a pig in shit. So yes, very happy about this. And then, oh, uh, the eyeliner, the Natasha Denona one. I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm surprised that it's actually lasting in my waterline. I thought that this was going to disappear. No, it's, it's, it's lasting. It's actually there. The true test obviously will be to see if this still lasts in at least two hours from now, but so far so good. I haven't had to do any touch-ups. Usually by now I would have to do a touch-up or two. It's staying really good in the waterline, so very, very happy about that. And last but not least, let's talk about the Thorn Bite from Ritual Defeat. This is so good. This is so fucking good. This is everything that I love in a lip oil. It's comfortable, it's smooth, the opacity is really, really good. You can pair this with the lip liner if you choose to. I like to wear it on its own. It's so good. And again, I love how long this lasts. I have notoriously dry lips, so the fact that I don't need to constantly do touch-ups is a fucking plus. And some lip oils can be incredibly sticky and off-putting, and this one is not like that. It's a nice cream formula. So it just feels really, really good. Think of it like it's like a nice, kind of like a thicker lip balm kind of a consistency. It just feels so good. It's so, so good. So very, very happy. If you're ever interested in wanting to check out anything from Ritual Defeat, I do have a code with them. I am affiliated. It's whew, Teresa 10. So definitely uh, check one of these little guys out or the Thorn Oil. <laughs> but definitely check out this little lip oil. It's so good. It's so good. Especially this shade. It just goes together so perfectly. So, so perfectly. That is my hair. Oh, I'm so mad that I have to go to work. Fuck me. I'm so sad right now. Yeah. That was good. Now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products. If you love them, if you hate them, let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on threads, Instagram, and to my beautiful, wonderful patron and YouTube members, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty garbage butter float. Couldn't do without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And I'll see you, little pumpkins, later. Bye.